Hi, I'm Emmanuel, and welcome to my workbench. Today I will be hunting nickels. I have two boxes of nickels. They are circulated. So these are customer wrapped. And these ones here are also customer wrapped. I see some older nickels over here. So let's hope that uh, we can find some great finds. I'll bring you in on my first find. Well, let me bring you in on the first couple of rolls that I'm going to open. I'll open them probably live. I usually don't check for enders, but I these clear rolls, I like looking at them because I can see very often. I can see uh, if there are any hexagonal ends here. Also, American quarters have uh, a duller sheen, uh, a duller sheen than uh, Canadian quarters. Uh, but the interesting thing, I don't, if you can look over here, is that there is a George the sixth over here in this roll, and this roll has a young head. None of the other rolls I look very quickly have any special enders, so uh, let's do these rolls live. Let's start with the George the sixth one. Whoops, that was messy. Well, here he is. So let's see what year he turns out to be. Look at that, 1939, and in good condition too. Let me do a quick look for the rest of the roll to see if there's anything else uh, of special significance in here. Just looking very quickly, not really looking at the, what's this one here? This one's pretty beat up. Whoops, hit the camera there, 1972. Let's see what else we have here very quickly. Nineteen sixty-four. Another young head right here. Nineteen sixty-four. So we have a young head. Nineteen thirty-nine. Nothing jumps out at me. I'll set these aside. Let's open the next one. That's more like it. So the young head is a 1964 as well. Let's put that one down. See if there's anything else in this roll. I'm just doing a quick search. I'll, I'll go more in detail. Just looking for the obvious old ones. Oddly enough, oh, there you go. I was just gonna say oddly enough, no Americans, but we do have the first American of the hunt. And this one is a 2000, oops, focus, 2000 with a Denver mint mark. What else do we have very quickly? Oh, look at that. We have a 1967 bunny. Always nice to see those. And well, okay, I'll end it like this. I'll go in detail through this roll and I'll bring you in on any other significant finds with this. Uh, might be boding well for uh, this box. Bringing you in on roll 19, I have found a 1959 American nickel. Oops, sorry, center it with a D mint mark. That's a nice find. Moving on. Well, here we are after halfway through the box. And for the Canadians, the finds are the star of the show, a 1939, a 1961, two 1963s, two 1964s, a 1967 bunny, uh, two 1977 high sevens, one 1977 low seven. This is the common variety. I found out that there's two other varieties for the 1977 high sevens. There is a large denticle version and a small denticle version. The large denticle version is the normal variety, is the more common variety. These happen to be small denticles, so the rare variety. I'm glad to find that. And a book filler, my first 1996 uh, far six variety. I have 13 Americans, of course, the star of the show being the 1959 Denver. And after that, going from 1968 all the way to 2015. On with the second half of the box. And here's the breakdown for the second half of this box. The Canadian finds a 1963 and a 1964 young head. Uh, four 1967 bunnies. This one is in particularly good shape, which this one and this one actually, they, one, they might upgrade the one in my book. 
uh, I found three 1977s, two low sevens, and one high seven small denticles variety. One foreign Thai bot. Uh, I have to look at the year more exactly, but this is either 2018 and two thousand or 2019. And for the Americans, uh, I have uh, 16, uh, 16 Americans ranging from a 1964 all the way to a, a 2015. I will come back to you with my um, book fillers and upgraders. My first book filler, this 1996 Far Six, completing this book. Obviously, uh, a 1965 Large Beads will be unlikely to find, but you can't find it until you search for it. And an upgrader, this 1967 Bunny will upgrade my 1967 Bunny. Book fillers and upgraders for my American coins, the 2015 D will fill a hole, my 2014P will upgrade, and over here I will fill a hole with a 2004P keelboat, and I will fill a hole with a 1999 Denver. On to the next book. And here are my upgraders and book fillers in my next book. I upgrade my 1979 Philadelphia, and I found a 1968S that will fill a hole. And finally, this 1959D will also fill a hole in my book. And here is the summary for this coin roll hunt. A single box this time because I had good finds in this box. So, four varieties were found. Nine book fillers altogether. One King George VI. 37 Americans and Young Heads. And... Uh, six foreigns, other foreigns and bunnies for a total of 83 points. Of course, the features of this box are the 1939 King George VI and the 1959 American Denver Mint Market marked nickel. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, if you did, hit that like button and subscribe and that hit that notification bell to be notified when more of my videos come out. So, until next time, Thanks for watching.